So this is going to be bad news for CDL truck drivers, and it's something that we have been looking at and talking about for many years, but it looks like now, starting in May, that all CDL trucks, anything weighing more than 26,000 GVW, your gross vehicle weight, your heavy duty trucks, your class seven and eight. So it's not just your semi trucks that are connecting the trailers, FedEx ground, we connect to the double trailers, but connect with your 18 wheeler. It's also your large trucks, your box trucks, a lot of furniture trucks that have a fixed box attached to them. Like your there's street sweepers, there's garbage trucks that are class seven. So if they're a class seven or eight, which is over 26,001 pounds, and that truck also happens to be equipped with an ECU module, which allows it to be limited, then they're going to be required to limit the speed, which isn't set yet, but it's going to be determined, we think in May, that's when you'll see that legislation come out. We don't know what that exact mileage is going to be yet. I'm guessing it's 67 or 68 miles per hour. But you've seen this huge push by the DOT, by the federal government, to slow down trucks. For my business, I'm a contractor in FedEx ground. We've been limited to 65 miles an hour for many years now. And in 2019, maybe 2020, when this first came out, there was an uproar. Oh my God, we were going to lose drivers. We were going to be late on our loads and it was not safe on the roads. And there was a huge uproar from everyone. No, you can't do this. But FedEx said, look, it's safer. All of the data is showing that slower semi trucks in the event of a catastrophic accident, that it's going to be less damage for a truck that's moving slower. 65 miles an hour is a lot less damage than 75 miles an hour. And so what happened? Well, really nothing. Drivers are frustrated, but we didn't lose a ton of drivers. The loads weren't late and it really wasn't a problem. And I was one of the people that said, hey, there's states where I can go faster than 65 miles an hour. It's not safe for our drivers to be doing 65 when everyone else is going 80 in Texas. And it, it never ended up being a problem. Looking at it from a perspective of the entire trucking industry, there's gonna be drivers that are very frustrated, but from the perspective of a truck driver, it's going to happen. We know that it's happening. And luckily we already have the test case. There's been several companies that have implemented these speed limiter devices to where truck can't go on the cruise and on the floor can't go faster than a certain number of miles and it's worked out it hasn't been this major deal we haven't lost droves of truck drivers who just couldn't deal with a lower speed and so it's something that we're just gonna have to deal with now every time something gets implemented there's always the frustrations that go about it hours of service was a big one the electronic logs how that goes with all the other aspects of truck driving that can be very frustrating for drivers. So this is just another thing that is being implemented that the people who are making the rules may not have all of the insight from the people who are actually driving the trucks day to day. And so we did a blog about this and put it out and I'm going to finish this with just posting a lot of the comments that were, were written under it. And that comment section is hilarious. There is already a problem with traffic when trucks follow speed limits because four wheelers are usually running five or more miles per hour over. So putting speed limiters on commercial vehicles only increases the issue and doesn't allow for lighter trucks than can climb a hill around another to do so safely. By limiting all trucks it will not improve safety in any meaningful way. In fact it will most likely have the opposite effect by creating long lines of trucks on the roadways with no easy way to pass slower vehicle they may only be going 3 to 4 miles per hour slower. Also, it will create more issues with normal passenger vehicles by essentially creating rolling roadblocks when a CMV is trying to pass another leading to even more aggressive driving on the part of normal passenger vehicles. Just like the electronics logs were going to make the highway safer, all they do is push the driver harder. I got out of an ELD truck into a paper log truck and don't rush nearly as much. Land of the free, right? Pencil pushers that have never driven a truck before telling us how to drive our trucks. Speed limiting trucks is unsafe. It's bad enough to have differential speed limits in some states, but when you limit all trucks to a certain speed it will cause road rage accidents. I believe this will only make the accident rate go up and also cause more congestion on the roads.
You see it already with the company trucks with speed limiters. They try to pass which can take miles to complete, and in the meanwhile traffic backs up for miles, and tempers start flaring which leads to road rage and aggressive driving. So, the government thinks slowing trucks down will solve problems? Just like they fixed the economy by printing all that fake money which made my shower cost $20 at Love's. I can't wait to deal with the angry moms honking at me for going 10 miles per hour under the speed limit in their minivans, this is dumb.